Hi, I'm Jonathan Oxter and this is Walk Time Blog. Here I am at Monash University. I've just arrived for the first day of the Society of Monash Electrical Engineers annual robot building competition. Uh, there are two build days and then a judging day, uh, a judging session at the end. So now I just have to find where the venue is and see what everybody's up to with building robots. This is such a classic old university campus. Look at these dusty display cases with things that have been sitting here probably for 20 years. So this one we can adjust later. Not even as long as we make sure that this one's correct. Right. So that's at three centimeters. Oh, I see what you Well, so we can determine each of the gates' colors pretty well. And can you give me a fixed range? Oh, I can't drive straight. <laughs> We're ready to go. <laughs> Well, here I am back at Monash University for day two of the annual robot building competition and continual soiree. The teams have had plenty of time now to make good progress on their robots, so we're going to go in and check it out. And um, it's only about an hour or two away from the judging, so this should be fun. <laughs> Okay, so this challenge is a bit confusing, so I need to explain what's going on. It's a variation on the classic line following robot challenge. The course has a white line straight down the middle, so the robot has to follow the line, and, which means it has to go in a straight line. 
but there are also a series of gates which are controlled by the course. Each gate is a different colour. The robot has to detect that it's come up to a gate, transmit the colour of that gate, and it will then be opened and it can proceed to the next one. If it makes it through all four gates to the finish line, then it's got to the end. So <laughs> there are a whole lot of different little sub-challenges as part of that, like detecting the colour, um, doing the line following, controlling the motors properly, transmitting the signal. There are quite a lot of little challenges in this project. So the fact that people are making progress at all after only you know, going on two days now of development is pretty impressive. And it makes for a pretty entertaining viewing. Uh, who's sending zeros? Someone's sending all zeros. No, I don't know. Hey. This is a test, by the way, so it doesn't count. How many points did we get like that? It's going slow this time. <laughs> So, for the best bling, um, as those of you who came to my lecture on Friday will know, I am very partial to space related technology. But I have to pass it up this time. There may be a copyright infringement issue with the Olympic rings. <laughs> um, I'm very impressed by the Batmobile as well. Uh, but I think I have to give it to the paper, papercraft Humvee with its aerodynamic wing. So, it is.
and it's all come out of them. So big clap for them. Thank you. All right. So in fourth place, we have Team 33. In third place, we have Team 19. And in first place, we have, with a equivalent time of 8 seconds, we have Team 14. That's the end of the Society of Monash Electrical Engineers Robot Building Competition 2016. It was a pretty cool event. I'm really glad I came along and the teams did really well, at least solving part of the problem. It was quite a complex competition, so just getting part way down the track was a real achievement. Everybody's packing up now and um, then they're going to start thinking about what to do for the competition next year. See you next time.